So you want to start investing in the stock market instead of just throwing money in there, gambling, hoping a stock goes up. Is there a good way to invest strategically? Well, today I'm going to tell you five things to consider before investing. And as a bonus, I'll tell you my three most bullish stocks of 2020. So let's dive right in. Number one, look at the company's financials. A lot of people today have asked me if it would be smart to buy a stock and hold it for years until it yields a great return. While that's the right mindset, I can almost guarantee you won't hold a stock for more than three months. So invest in companies that you know will yield a desired return. Check their financials and see if they're producing profit quarter after quarter, year after year, and invest on that and hold for as long as you wish or so long as they're continuing to produce profit. Number two, play company's earnings. One of the first things I did when I started trading and quite frankly still do, was trade companies and play them for earnings. The most recent example I have of this is Walmart. Clearly, when everybody began to hoard everything, buying all this toilet paper, all this Clorox, I knew Walmart was going to have killer earnings because every Walmart within a 10 mile vicinity of me was nearly empty. So of course, I knew Walmart was going to have great quarterly earnings. Thus, I bought a call before, overnight earnings came out, they were positive, the stock jumps, sold it, made profit. Earnings are the easiest things to play for beginning investors who aren't sure what to exactly look for when it comes to buying stocks and trying to potentially turn a profit. Simple key insights like empty shelves at Walmart are great things to look for for beginning investors to get a bigger picture of what other companies potentially have when you dive into more of their background and research and what they're producing. Number three, don't be afraid to go join the dark side. Companies today can go from bullish to bearish like that. So after doing further research, don't be afraid to flip your standing. If you're bullish at one point and you see something's come about that's now making the stock go down, don't be afraid to flip and go bearish and ride that wave down. Catch it early. Don't try to catch the falling knife. I go by the rule, if you can justify with more optimism why you're making an investment, you're more than likely going to be able to yield a greater return. For example, Intel right now is doing fairly well. But next year, I predict they will decrease in value simply because they're losing a contract with one of the biggest producers in the world. You know this name? Apple. Apple will begin producing their own smartphone processors next year and stop relying on Intel's for their upcoming iPhones. Clearly, with that, Apple's valuation will skyrocket while Intel's will decrease because of foregone revenue via expired contracts from Apple. So if today I'm bullish, it may still go up for the next couple months. Next year, I'm probably gonna lean more towards the bear side simply because I know their contract will be expiring. Number four. Think ahead of everyone else. The coolest thing about the stock market is it gives you the ability to predict the future. Picture your average consumer, barely knows anything about the market, just sees what's going on on TV, on the news, whatever it may be, Facebook, whatever their primary source of news is, picture your average consumer. Example, if you know movie theaters aren't gonna be doing as well because people will be afraid of large crowds from this virus, that will have an impact on potential theater earnings. This then in chance gives companies like Netflix a huge opportunity to capitalize on that, allowing viewers to potentially stream box office movies directly from their couch. Smart movie producers will eventually come to realize this and then begin to offer contracts to certain streaming platforms, thus increasing their valuations. Number five, set your limits. I like to think of the stock market as a stack of Jenga bricks supported by a single block at the base. This analogy means the stock market is incredibly unstable and can have insane volatility, which then will make some investors sick to their stomachs. One day you can be up thousands, the next potentially down millions. So set upper and lower limits. I don't think I have to tell you, don't risk more than you're willing to lose. Okay, let's clarify that right now. I like to do a 10-20 spread limit. What this means is that I'm okay with losing no more than 10% or profiting more than 20% of my original investment. If I see a 10% loss, I sell, find a better play. If I see a 20% gain, I sell, find a different option. This, encompassed with the other four rules I listed, will yield you strong return year after year. 
Now, the reason a lot of y'all are probably here, my top three bullish stocks for 2020, okay? Now, this is my opinion, this is my evaluation, my research, what I believe the best, most bullish stocks for my sake will be for 2020. With tech blowing up right now, my first choice has to be the IBB, or the iShares NASDAQ Biotechnology ETF. This stock has huge potential in the coming months, unless something like a trade war comes out, then in which there might be more lucrative options out there that don't have as much uncertainty within them. My second stock is McDonald's. With things beginning to open back up and people just wanting to get out, McDonald's will begin to see an increase in customers and thus increase in profits, therefore yielding stronger returns and attracting more and more investors. And my third stock, clearly Netflix. As I mentioned earlier, Netflix has countless opportunities they can capitalize on from this coronavirus. If they want to keep subscriber counter up or even increasing, they will have to innovate and find ways to keep viewers paying their monthly premiums. And one way they know that is possible is by bringing box office premieres straight to the consumer's home, straight to their TV. If I don't see this happening or hear them mention anything about potentially streaming box office movies, by their next quarterly earnings, I suspect their valuation will drop because their subscriber count will probably have decreased. Then in which I would sell my position and probably go bearish. Again, being able to flip, realizing different economic stance, different economic changes. So if this video helped you in becoming a better investor in any way, please give it a thumbs up. I would really love to try to get this information to as many people as I can. And by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, YouTube's algorithm thing does its thing and gets my channel to more people. All in all though, guys, stay sharp and stay vigilant and you will return profit. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Stay safe and I will catch you in our next episode of Investing 101. This is Life with Kyle.